I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to graph a line given equation in slope intercept form. I'm not using any graph paper here as we normally do in any test, right? We are normally not given a graph paper for this test on lines, correct? We need to uh, create our own. So we'll just create our own and take a few examples. I hope that will help. Most of my videos are very practical and they really help you to understand the very basic concept. So we are saying we'll learn how to graph a line from given slope and y-intercept. Now when we give equation in the form of y equals to mx plus b, in this equation what is m and what is b? m as you know is the slope, right? So the m is slope for us and b is y-intercept right so b is y intercept let us see how to sketch graph of a line when we know both the things that is slope and y intercept so i'll take a few examples and then we'll sketch them one by one so let's say example a for us is y equals to uh, 2x uh, we'll take b as minus 1 okay 2x minus 1 let us see how to graph this line so let me create uh, one two 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, I know this is kind of very wrong, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, approximately, right, so this is x-axis, that's the y-axis for us, we need to sketch y equals to 2x minus 1, so first step is, where is minus 1, this is minus 1 for us, so mark a point, to draw a line, we need just two points, right, slope is 2, what is slope? Slope is rise over run. So we know here slope m equals to 2. That is rise over run, correct? So that means 2 could be written as 2 is the rise, 1 is the run. Okay, that makes sense. So from this y-intercept, we'll go 2 units up. 1, 2. So 2 units up and 1 unit to the right. That is the run, correct? So we get another point. So we get two points. Joining these two points, we can draw a line. Do you see that? So that line represents the equation y equals to 2x minus 1. You get an idea. This point is minus 1. So this is that simple. Okay. Uh, let me take another example. So by the end of this video, you will be an expert. So we'll say y equals to, let me take negative slope and that to infraction. So we'll say this is minus... Uh, let's say 3 over 2 okay x and uh, let me take a point y intercept of uh, let's say 2 okay so it really means that we have to again start with the y intercept so the idea here is start with y intercept so let me write down the steps which we are doing so our first step is start at y intercept that is our first step right Okay, so y-intercept is 2 for us, 1, that is y-intercept, and then we have to go for slope, right? So then, then we do slope m, which is equals to rise over run, is it okay? So we have minus 3 over 2. So minus 3 over 2 means what? Minus 3 means go down, so rise is minus 3, go down 3 units, 1, 2, and 3, and two units to the right, so one, two. So we land up there, correct? So joining these two, we can actually get a line. So let me sketch this line in a dashed form. Okay, slightly different from what I did earlier, right? Hope that is clear. So this is two, right? And so we get our line. Perfect. So that becomes the line, and this equation is y equals to uh, y equals to minus three over two x uh, plus two, right? So we found that this point is 1, 2, 3 units down and 2 units right. So this is x value of 2, is it okay? And the y value is minus 1, correct. So here we found that the slope m is minus 3 over 2, uh, which is rise and run, and y-intercept is equal to 2, right? Which you can also say 0, 2. Okay, y-intercept is at 2. So that's, that's good, right? Let's take another example, c. Now this time I'll write y equals to let's say 4. So in this case, if I write equation y equals to 4, how will you sketch this line? 
Well, uh, we clearly know that the y-intercept is 4, right? So y-intercept is 4. But what about slope? First term does not exist. That means m is 0. So slope is 0. If slope is 0, it really means we are working on horizontal line. So this is a horizontal line, okay? So we could sketch this for 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the point 4 for us. So the line will be horizontal, kind of like this. Do you see that? This line, which will have y-intercept as 4, is y equals to 4. Correct? So that is how you could sketch a line if you are given slope and y-intercept. So let me take another case where y-intercept is 0. So we have y equals to, let us say, uh, uh, minus... Uh, uh, minus 5x, okay, minus 5x. Now, minus 5x means what? You could think about slope in this case as uh, minus 5 is the rise going down and run is kind of 1. Do you understand? And what is y-intercept? y-intercept for us is, is 0 this time. That means uh, the line goes through the origin, right? So, this particular line goes through the origin so it goes through the origin so that is the point where we have the y-intercept okay zero zero slope is minus five so the next point will be five units down so one two three four one more right five down one right so kind of like this right so now if you join these two you get your line so we can draw this line let me use shaded uh, i'm dashed line for this so joining these two we get like this is that okay? So like this, extended both sides, you get your line. So this line is y equals to minus 5x. Correct? So that is how you can draw different kinds of lines which have slope and some y-intercept. Now let me give you an example here where the slope is undefined. So if I write uh, slope m is undefined, right slope m is undefined and we have a point p which is let's say 3 4 how will you sketch this line one thing you should remember that we cannot write equation in slope intercept form right so so we cannot write equation of such lines in y equals to mx plus b form right reason is slope is undefined right slope is undefined it really means undefined slope means a vertical line this is a vertical line okay so that is an exception to the rule which we are following here but that's also a line which we need to understand how to sketch so we'll go to the point three four so which is one two three and then four so that's the point three four now to draw this line Undefined slope means a vertical line, right? This is the x value. So just draw a vertical line like this. Do you see that? Okay, it's kind of messy now. Anyway, I hope you understand. So this line is is x equals to 3. So every point on this line will have x value of 3. So equation will be x equals to 3. You can clearly see this equation is very different from slope intercept form, correct? So that's one case where slope intercept form cannot be used. But since we're talking about sketching lines, that could be an exception to the rule which we have followed so far. I hope that helps you to understand how to sketch a line when slope and intercept can be found. Thank you and all the best.